Yo, what is going on, Guardians? I'm paid to be famous, but you guys can call me paid. And in today's video, we have the ultimate guide for the fighting lion. What are the stats? What are the perks? How exactly you guys need to use the fighting lion to make it the most effective? And of course, I got some gameplay. But if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And without any more delay, listen to this track. Nobody with me. Alrighty, the fighting lion. First up, the exotic perk is delayed gratification. Grenade projectiles will bounce off surfaces, hold the RT to fire, and release to detonate. You have counter mass. This weapon is weighed for vertical recoil, greatly controls recoil, increases stability, and increases handling speed. You also have implosion rounds. This weapon's projectiles travel faster and have a controlled explosion. Thin the herd. Direct hits do more damage to enemy combatant shields. Rapid kills against grenade damaged enemies refill the magazine. Kills always drop energy ammo. And short action stock. This weapon is especially easy to grip. Now let's take a closer look at the stats. This weapon fires at 72 rounds per minute, has a blast radius of 55, velocity 46, stability 55, can only hold one in the magazine, has a reload speed of 55, handling of 82, an aim assistance of 80, and a recoil direction of 60. use this weapon effectively you have to understand the mechanics of it so that's what we're gonna go over now a lot of people get turned off by this weapon because they just tap the trigger on it they shoot off a rocket and if it doesn't hit the guardian it'll hit something else and bounce around and explode at a later time and do no damage and I believe that that is why people get turned off by this weapon what a lot of people don't realize is that you need to be holding down the trigger when you fire this weapon because if you don't hold down the trigger and just tap it you're gonna shoot the projectile it's gonna bounce off something as soon as it bounces off something about one about one to two seconds later it's gonna explode usually when you don't want it to so as you can see in this gameplay right here when I just tap the trigger the projectile launches off into the sky never detonating because it didn't hit a surface yet but if that projectile had hit a surface it would detonate a couple seconds later but in this footage right here I fired off into the air and then I give it a countdown and I release my hand from the trigger and it explodes <laughs> All you guys really need to do is shoot this in a guardian's general direction and release the trigger when it gets close to them 
and you're gonna do damage usually take down most of their shields and then after that it's very very easy to switch to your primary and take down that guardian the rest of the way and also when you guys are using this weapon you guys need to be using your vertical space jumping up in the air and shooting the grenade launcher down onto the ground really throws off guardians and a lot of people when they see you coming with the fighting lion they will take to the air and jump up as high as they can but as you can see in this footage right here all i need to do is shoot the projectile up in the air next to them get some damage on them and then it's really easy to take them down So all in all guys, if you guys want to get good with this weapon, you guys just need to practice. Because this weapon takes a very skilled hand, very high risk, very high reward weapon right here. There's a reason why guys like, like the Destiny Fun Police and Cami Cakes use this all the time. Because this weapon is freaking powerful. It's like having power ammo grenade launcher but in your energy slot and you have ammo for it pretty much all the time now another good thing about this weapon is when you damage a guardian with this weapon and then rapidly kill them it's going to automatically reload your fighting lion check out this clip right here i get some damage with the fighting lion switch over to my primary hand cannon get the kill and then it automatically reloads my fighting lion so i'm ready for the next engagement gotcha bitch So you guys, my final thoughts on the Fighting Lion. I wasn't really digging this at first because I didn't really know the mechanics of it. I didn't really know how to bounce it off walls. I didn't know how to, to remote detonate it. I was just going for those direct hits with the grenade launcher and it's really hard to get those direct hits. But once I learned that I can bounce it around corners and remote detonate it, and then easily follow up my primary and get kills with this thing. I am really digging this. Ever since I picked it up a couple of days ago, I haven't put it down since. It's been a part of my loadout for the past couple of days. And it probably will be for a while. But that's going to do it for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. All you got to do is search Pay to Be Famous. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Clash.
battle is still close.
death in his beady eyes and you spat in them, you fiend.